they say every symphony has its maestro. In the world of engines, that maestro was Hans Mesger. A shrill wail cuts through silence, the unmistakable sound of a Porsche flat six screaming towards 9,000 revolutions per minute. It's mechanical music, raw, emotional, surgical. This wasn't just an engine. It was a legacy forged in the fires of endurance racing, fine-tuned on the Autobahn and perfected on twisting mountain roads. From the Le Mans winning 917 to the 911 Turbo and the Carrera GT, one name connected them all. Mesger. And this is the story of the engine that made Porsche immortal. To understand the engine, you have to meet the man. Hans Mesger wasn't born into fame or fortune. He was born into post-war Germany, a world rebuilding itself from the rubble. As a young man, he saw machines not as cold metal, but as living, breathing organisms. He joined Porsche in 1956, a small but ambitious company obsessed with lightness and precision. While others built bigger engines, Mesger studied how to make smarter ones. He started in Formula One, working on the Porsche 804, and helped design the flat eight that powered Porsche's first F1 victory. But it was endurance racing, those brutal 24-hour battles, that shaped his philosophy. Every part had to survive not minutes of glory, but days of punishment. Power meant nothing without reliability. And so, the Mesger mindset was born. Build it once, build it right, and make it bulletproof. Porsche's early success came from simplicity, a small, air-cooled flat four in the 356. But when the 911 debuted in 1963, it carried a new six-cylinder engine. Light, compact, perfectly balanced. Still, Mesger saw room to evolve. He envisioned an engine that could breathe deeper, rev higher, and live longer. An engine that could race on Sunday and drive home on Monday. By 1969, he had created a new architecture. Dry sump lubrication, separate cylinder heads, and a split case crank design. It was over-engineered, over-built, and absolutely unstoppable. That design became the foundation of the Mesger engine family, the power plant that would drive Porsche's success for the next 40 years. Endurance racing doesn't forgive mistakes. Cars break, engines die, heroes fall, but not Mesger's. The Porsche 917, with its 12-cylinder Mesger-designed heart, was a monster delivering over 1,000 horsepower in its later turbocharged form. It was so fast that drivers called it terrifying. It won Le Mans, Daytona, the Nürburgring, everything. And while the 917 was his masterpiece, it was the flat six that carried the torch forward. The 935, the 956, and the 962, each powered by Mesger's indestructible architecture, ruled endurance racing through the 1970s and 1980s. In Le Mans alone, Mesger engines racked up more than 20 overall victories. That's not an engine line, that's a dynasty. Porsche didn't let all that genius stay on the track. They brought it home, into cars ordinary mortals could buy. In 1974, Porsche dropped a turbocharger onto the flat six and created the 911 Turbo 930. It was wild, unpredictable, and faster than anything else on the road. Its heartbeat, the Mesger engine. For the first time, ordinary drivers could feel what racing drivers felt. That rush of turbo boost, the shriek of spooling power, the dance of rear engine balance. And it didn't stop there. Every 911 Turbo that followed, from the 964 to the 993, the 996 GT2, and the 997 GT3 RS carried the same core design. Each one refined, strengthened, modernized, but always unmistakably Mesger. Then, in 2003, Porsche created something truly outrageous. 
the Carrera GT. At its center was not a flat six, but a 5.7 liter V10, designed by Mesger's own engineering team. Originally meant for a Le Mans prototype that never raced, this engine found a new purpose on the road. It revved to 840 revolutions per minute and produced 605 horsepower, naturally aspirated, brutally responsive, and terrifyingly pure. No traction control, no stability systems, just a carbon clutch, a six-speed manual, and Mesger's philosophy of unfiltered connection. Even today, the Carrera GT is considered one of the most analog supercars ever made, and its engine, one of the greatest naturally aspirated power plants in history. Every rev is a tribute to the man who built machines that felt alive. So, what made Mesger's engine so special? It wasn't magic, it was discipline. His flat six design separated oil and air systems to ensure constant lubrication. The crankshaft spun in a rigid, closed deck case, keeping tolerances microscopic. Air cooled or water cooled, turbo or naturally aspirated, it didn't matter. Every version shared one trait, absolute durability. Owners could run these engines flat out for hours. Racers could push them to redline for entire seasons. They didn't leak, they didn't break, they didn't quit. That's why even today, tuners extract 800, 900, even 1,000 horsepower from Mesger blocks without catastrophic failure. It's mechanical art, forged from obsession. But progress doesn't wait for sentiment. By 2010, the world demanded efficiency, cleaner emissions, and mass production convenience. The Mesger design, though beloved, was hand-built, complex, and expensive. The 991 GT3 introduced a new, fully modern, flat six, powerful, efficient, but different. It lacked that raw, mechanical heartbeat that Mesger engines gave off. Purists felt the shift immediately. The wine became cleaner, the idle smoother, the imperfections gone, but so was the soul. Hans Mesger retired long before this, but he watched with quiet pride as his engines continued to win, even decades later. When he passed away in 2020 at 90 years old, Porsche enthusiasts around the world didn't just mourn a man, they mourned an era. Today, owning a Mesger-powered 911 is like owning a Stradivarius violin. It's not just an engine, it's a living masterpiece. Collectors chase 996 GT3 RS models 997 GT2 RS and Carrera GTs because they represent the last breath of a mechanical philosophy the world may never see again. Even within Porsche, engineers still whisper his name with reverence. Whenever they design a new engine, they ask themselves, would Hans approve? Because the Mesger wasn't about chasing trends, it was about chasing truth. Every line, every bolt, every roar was a love letter to motion itself. In a world of electric silence, the Mesger flat six remains a symphony. It breathes, it howls. It reminds us that perfection isn't sterile, it's alive. Hans Mesger gave us engines that didn't just perform, they communicated. They told stories of passion, precision and purpose. And even as technology moves on, one truth remains. You can silence an engine, but you can't silence a legacy. Because every time a Mesger-powered Porsche starts up, the past wakes up, and history breathes again. So, what do you think? Is the Mesger Flat 6 the greatest engine Porsche ever built, or the greatest engine, period? Let me know in the comments. And if you love stories of power, perfection, and passion, hit that subscribe button. Because here on Pass Pistons, we don't just talk about engines. We keep them alive, one rev at a time.